Well, uh, I want to first of all just thank Tiffany and uh, Richard, uh, Jimmy, and Velma uh, for opening up their beautiful home to us. Uh, the reason that we're here is because Tiffany is one of the people who responded to my 2K. Uh, as many of you know, we asked uh, folks all across the country to talk a little bit about what would it mean if uh, their income taxes went up in 2013. Uh, and uh, Tiffany, who's a high school teacher, uh, responded. Uh, her husband, uh, Richard, uh, works at a Toyota dealership. Uh, they actually live with uh, Tiffany's parents, uh, both of whom are still working. Yes. And so uh, what Tiffany pointed out was that uh, an increase of $2,000 or so uh, for her and uh, her husband uh, in this household would actually mean $4,000 uh, that was lost. Uh, and uh, a couple of thousand dollars means a couple months rent uh, for this family. And the story they tell about working hard, uh, my understanding is they're interested in starting uh, a business uh, as well as uh, the work that they currently do. Uh, they've got dreams and ambitions. They've got uh, a beautiful uh, six-year-old son, uh, Noah, uh, who's back with great-grandma. Uh, and, and they're keeping it together. They're working hard. They're uh, meeting their responsibilities. Uh, you know, for, for them to be burdened unnecessarily because Democrats and Republicans aren't coming together to solve this problem. It uh, gives you a sense of the costs uh, involved in very personal terms. Obviously, it would also have an impact on our economy because if this family uh, has a couple of thousand dollars less to spend, that translates into $200 billion of less consumer spending next year. And that's bad for businesses large and small. It's bad for our economy. It means less folks are being hired. Uh, and we can be back in a downward spiral instead of the kind of uh, virtual uh, virtuous cycle that we want to see. So uh, the message that uh, I got from uh, Tiffany and the message that I think we all want to send to members of Congress is this is a solvable problem. The Senate has already passed a bill that would make sure that middle class taxes do not go up next year by a single dime. 98% of Americans whose incomes are $250,000 a year or less would not see any increases. 97% of small businesses would not see any increases in their income taxes. And even folks who make more than $250,000 would still have a tax break for their incomes up to $250,000. So 100% of Americans actually would be keeping uh, uh, a portion of their tax cuts, 98% of them. Uh, would not be seeing any increase in their income tax. Uh, that's the right thing to do for our economy. It's the right thing to do for families like uh, Tiffany's and Richard's. And it's very important that we get this done now, that we don't wait. Uh, you know, we're in, in, in the midst of the Christmas season. I think the American people are counting on this getting solved. The closer it gets to uh, the brink, uh, the more stress they're going to be. Businesses, uh, businesses are making decisions right now about investment and hiring. And if they don't have confidence that we can get this thing done, uh, then they're going to start pulling back. Uh, and uh, we could have a, a rocky time in our economy over the next uh, several months uh, or even next year. So uh, you know, I'm encouraged to see that uh, there's been some discussion uh, on the part of uh, Republicans uh, acknowledging the need for additional revenue. Uh, as I've indicated, the only way to get the kind of revenue for a balanced deficit reduction plan uh, is to make sure that we're also modestly increasing rates uh, for people who can afford it, folks like me. Uh, for folks uh, who are in the top 2%, uh, we can afford to have a modest rate increase. That allows us to not only reduce our deficit in a balanced, responsible way, it also allows us to make investments in education and making college affordable and putting folks back to work and investing in basic research that's uh, important for our economy. Uh, and uh, I think we all recognize that there are some smart cuts we've got to make in government. Uh, we're going to have to strengthen uh, our entitlement programs so that they're there for future generations. Uh, everybody's going to have to share in some sacrifice. But it starts with folks who are in the best position to sacrifice, who are in the best position to uh, do a little bit more, to, to step up. And that's what my plan does. Uh, so uh, just to be clear, uh, 
I'm not going to sign any package that uh, somehow prevents the top uh, rate from going up for folks uh, at the top 2%. Uh, but I do remain optimistic uh, that we can get something done that is good for families like uh, uh, this one's and that is good for uh, the American economy. All right? Thank you very much, everybody.